Hey guys, what is going on? I am back again with another video. This is going to be an unboxing and a quick review overview of the 25th anniversary Jordan 11 uh, Jubilee. I did hit on the sneakers app. It's a <clears throat> it was a shock drop. I don't know last week sometime. I never hit on sneakers, uh, especially for shock drops, early shock drops. Um, but I'm super excited to check these out, show you guys the quality on those. Um, I believe the release date is December 12th. So I am happy to have these in hand. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Jordan 11 before I jump into that. <clears throat> because it is the 25th anniversary, so I brought out some of my favorite silhouettes for the 11. Obviously we've got the Concord, we've got the uh, Bread, and we've got the Space Jam. Three of my favorite colors, colorways, I believe. Three of the most iconic in my opinion. Um, I've got tons and tons of stories that I'd like to share with you guys about the Jordan 11 things I've gone through in my life, um, experiences I've had with the Jordan 11. Um, but I'll tell you one, I believe it was the year 2000 when the Breads retroed and I was in middle school at the time. And it was the first experience I had with going to the store, like seeing kids like Monday morning, Tuesday morning in the hallways, like wearing the Bread Jordan 11 and being like, oh my God, like my life has changed seeing these, like I need to have these, I need to own these. I've saved up a little bit of money. I'm going to get my mom to take me to the store, and this is what I'm going to buy. Went to the mall. I believe it was a finish line, uh, Regency Square Mall, uh, Jacksonville, Florida. And I remember it was that first experience, that, I don't know, shocking realization of, like, it wasn't happening. I remember asking for them and kind of getting laughed at. This middle school kid getting laughed at by this finish line employee of, like, yeah, you're not going to get those. And it was... That experience, something that I'm experiencing up till this day with trying to get releases on sneakers app and stuff like that. And I do miss the days of camping in line to get sneakers you wanted. But that was the day that I realized like, hey, if I love these sneakers and this is something that I need to have and want, you're going to have to put in the work. You know, you're going to get up Saturday morning, you're going to go camp. So it's one of those things that happened a lot throughout high school, you know, camping on Saturday mornings for sneakers. And another camp that I really enjoyed involving the 11 was the... Uh, uh, DMP pack that came with the 11s and the 6s. Um, the colorway obviously was reminiscent of the Concord, but it had the gold jump man instead. Um, just tons of great memories with the Jordan 11, but enough with that. Um, let's jump into why you're here, the early look at the Jubilee, the 25th anniversary. I'm curious to see quality of these in hand, because I've heard they're similar to like quality on the uh, 72 and 10s. I've heard them compared to these. I've also heard them compared to the Space Jams. So I don't know if that's accurate at all. We will see shortly. Let's see. All right. Cut into this. I don't know if I should try the uh, Mike Rich bow or not, but I'll check these out. All right, interesting box. It's got a little flap. I don't know if there's supposed to be a, something in that or what this is for, the handle to grab or what, but sit this over here. <clears throat> All right, official color, it's a Air Jordan 11 Retro, black multicolor, multicolor, noir, uh, multiple. So uh, USD is 220. Got these in a size 13. All right. All right. These soles do remind me of the 72 and 10s. They almost feel yellow, like they're yellowing already. Do you guys prefer the clear soles like these, or do you prefer like the icy soles like we got on like Space Jams? Where they don't yellow as easy. All right, let's see. All right, so let's take a quick look. Love the cut of the patent leather. Um, obviously, the biggest thing is we've got the Jordan lettering on the eyelets. Um, I believe this is originally how Tinker Hatfield designed them when he had his original concepts got the 23 it's like 
like a stamp, almost like a metal metallic type stamp. It's not embroidered, but it doesn't feel as light as like the back of the bread where it's just like stamped on there. It's nice quality. I do like that. Carbon fiber looks nice. Got the carbon fiber underneath. Got your uh, clear soles that they, these really have a yellow tint to them. I don't, it's almost that look of, I don't know. When something's glow in the dark where it almost has that yellowish green tint and these my 72 and 10s have really started to yellow and it's not nearly as bad as that but it does definitely does have that tint in my opinion all right nice quality i do really like these there's those another good shot bottoms let's take a look at these The Jumpman is very metallic, silver, shiny. I don't know if you can catch the light on there. I do like these. I think I like these better in hand. I have to wear these. Maybe I'll throw these on tomorrow. Yeah, I really do like these. Quick look. Maybe I'll do... I know there's a ton of on-feet videos that are out there, but I may start doing those because I do enjoy those. All right, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Um, if you like sneaker videos, I just did a StockX unboxing where I unboxed 14 uh, new pairs of Jordans that I got from StockX. Um, I also picked up a pair of Off-Whites, the Off-White 5s. Um, plan on doing a lot more sneaker content. I also do a ton of Blu-ray and movie stuff, and I've got a ton of that stuff planned. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Um, what's your favorite Jordan 11? Like, tell me some of your Jordan 11 memories. I love having conversations about sneakers. Love hearing... Um, unique situations, unique stories. So um, tell me what you guys got. All right. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.